Hello internet, look at this dirty beast, it was only washed a few days ago. Um, right, it's, um, well, the wind ain't much better, it ain't a lot warmer, and uh, I've just felt some rain. Hmm, but I need to do a quick oil change on this, so um, I'm going to get on with it, and hopefully get it done before I get wet through. Right, it's going to be a short video, because oil changes are really boring, and I've not much to tell you about them really, but let's do it. So, to give you an idea what's going on, so obviously oil filler, um, obviously took the, the plastic off the top, we don't need that at the moment. The oil filter is there, um, 25 newton meters apparently when you talk it up, yep, that's going to happen. Um, I think that is a 22, but I could be wrong, but we shall soon find out. The air filter is in there, and lo and behold, not many people know this on BMs, we have a dipstick. There you go. There is a dipstick there. So, although you're going to put in the right amount, you've also got a dipstick to measure it. Right, let me get it jacked up a bit so I can get underneath. Um, I believe there is an inspection hatch um, to drop the oil. Oh, I can feel rain. Look, 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 look. Spots of rain. You knew it would happen. Um, so, yeah, where was I? And I think there's, oh, I know there's an inspection hatch. So I am definitely going to have a look underneath and get that open and um, yeah and start doing stuff drop the oil first the filter in top the oil up and hopefully not get wet right let's get on with it because I'm just waffling now time for some jacking let's get me pucks out me puck puck for jacking up the car like that so you don't damage it it's a good puck. There you go, got it jacked up. And as the, uh, the driveway slopes down a bit, when it's jacked up, it's a bit level, which makes it easier for uh, using your dipstick. Did I say it was a dipstick just there? Yeah, I think I did. So if my calculations are correct, there's a sump plug. Ah, even using the special stuff, my bowl's be become redundant because my son has bought one of these. And I know this holds, well, just over seven litres, seven and a half litres. Because one, it's an eight litre, there. And two, did my sons. And it all went in there. Right, draining time. 17 mil socket at the ready. Can you see that? Can you see it? No, no, you can't, can you? You ready for it? Gonna get black fingers. Oil! Ah, <laughs> there it is. A little bit warm because it's just been parked up. Yeah, look at that. Lovely, lovely. Oh, the tray's leaking. Oh, defective. Send it back. Oh, bloody hell, here comes the wind. That's the last bloody thing I need. Ah, right, she looks a bit empty. Let's put the plug back in, change the filter, put the new oil in. Oh, now the wind's getting up, it's raining again. Right, 27 mil on there, like that. Let's get that off. And my trusty old bowl comes into use for this. There you go, 27. Shouldn't be a lot that comes out of there, but there is. <laughs> Yeah, sorry for the bad camera angle, I was trying to get the, the filter out. Alright, we'll leave that in there for a minute. Drain away. Right, um, yeah, I need two hands. Alright, so that's what it looks like inside. There's your filter. So all I'm going to do is take that filter off, snap the new one in, put it back in. Simple as. Obviously, new O-ring in the pack, that will go on. Um, one thing to keep an eye out for is that tab. When you take the old filter out, notice where that tab is, because if you get it the wrong way round, you can still jam it in there and do some damage. Uh, oil will not pass through. That is a non-return valve, uh, or something along those lines. And uh, yeah, if you get it wrong, you're probably going to get an oil pressure warning. 
and uh, you're going to do some damage. As you can see on this one, she's on the bottom. And there will be, in there, a hole especially for that. So don't force it in, you'll feel when it drops in. Right, so with new seal in place, let's drop the filter in. So, I don't know if you can see it, but right in there, there is a hole for that to go into, like that. And then all you do, put your cap on the top, start it manually. Don't go put uh, impact wrenches or something stupid on it, because it just simply won't work. When you get it started manually, take it down with your hands, get your socket, take it down, and you should, at some point, hear a click when it all goes in place. All right. Jobs are good. Un. So, best funnel in the world, in place. I'm going to give it some Fuchs. Yeah, you heard me. Fuchs. Titan. Recommended. German technology for BMWs. Mmm. Right, that's five litres in. Another one and a bit. Should be there. Just going to check the dipstick just to see where we are. Um, um, yeah, we're there. <laughs> right, I need two adders. This is silly. Right, we're just showing on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is put another liter in, and then start it up, and let the oil circulate, and check it again. Ah, oh, yes, the lovely sound of a straight six diesel. Lovely. Right, just a quick check for leaks. Then um, I don't think there will be any, but. Always check afterwards just to make sure um, and let it sit for just a couple of minutes and then I'll check the oil again and see where we are. I think I'm going to have to add around about half a litre. Should be about seven and a half litres in these, I've read up. Um, so we shall see. And in fact, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to pop off that clip there. Put that in my pocket before it flies away. Um, there's another clip there. Um, I think there's another clip somewhere else as well. Um, but in there is basically your air filter. Let me just show you. So again, just two or three clips, and then you can pull your air filter straight out. Right, let me get two hands on the situation. <laughs> I was slightly wrong. Silly me. You unclip it, and then you pull it. Ooh, look at that. Lovely. Mmm, lovely, lovely. Um, I think that looks like a cabin filter. Stroke out? Oh, no, it's just an air filter. Right, let's get the new one in. Ah, uh, right, I didn't film me putting it in because that'd be really boring, but um, yeah, it's, I thought there's a big old lump. Um, when you open the box and look inside, there is, it's a whole new unit. So yeah, literally two clips and uh, you slide it in. Yeah, not a bad design to be honest. Right, she's sat for a few minutes. Let's check the oil. Yep, yeah, and she's at the minimum. So another half a litre, that should do it nicely. Right, another half a litre put in. Let's give it a quick dip test. And she's at the top level. Lovely, just where I wanted it. Right, all I've got to do now is um, let the computer know that I've changed the oil um, by resetting the trip, which you have to do with uh, Bimmer code. Oh, well, well, you don't have to do it with that, but for me, it's the easiest one. It's the best tool I've got. Uh, put the top back on and um, yeah, and then just um, do an oil check. Now, to do the oil check, I believe you have to get it up to temperature. There's the level ground and let it go through its process. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes. So um, I ain't going to do that all on camera because that would be really boring. But uh, anybody that's got a BM will know in the screen menu where that is. I'll probably quickly show you it, but I'm not going to take you for every boring part of it. So that is almost it. Um, like I say, it's... It's a really easy job, and because the filter's at the top, uh, makes life a lot, lot easier. Uh, and that cartridge there makes life a lot, lot easier. So, BM, yes, well done. Um, so if you're a bit daunted about changing your own oil, um, you can save yourself a lot of money by doing it. Obviously, you need a garage that's got uh, a stamp, um, and you need to be friends with them, so <laughs> if you want to keep your service book up to date. Um, but I don't plan on um, getting rid of this car anytime soon. 
and I like to do my own oil changes because I know what then I'm putting in it and I choose the oil I want. So um, that is it. If you're thinking of doing it yourself, not a particularly difficult job. Right, um, again, I might just show you the screen to go into, but I am not going to go through this in detail. That is just about it. So all it remains for me is to wish you a very, very safe and Merry Christmas. And uh, I will see you in the new year, if not before. Um, I'm going to have a little break for a little while. Um, I've got loads of jobs to do. And I'll be honest, I really can't be bothered to do them. But the weather's horrible at the moment, so that's understandable. Anyway, that is it for me for now. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, just click that button. Uh, it only takes a minute. I'm trying to get up to 2,000 subscribers. Um, but I seem to be hitting the 1,900 and just staying there at the moment. Um, so if you can hit it, it'll do me a big favour. Right, that'll do. Catch you later, YouTube. Have a very, very Merry Christmas.